and yogis. My name is Nicole Spirit. I'm here today with Kuka Dog. Finn just ran away, but that's all right. We've got this beautiful little yoga class today. Find your inner vacation. So I am here to just tell you that it's a good reminder every day to just be like a child, to find that space where you can play, you can be like a little kid, you can be on vacation, there's palm trees around, you're happy, everything is beautiful, and you like take this big huge effort to get somewhere and then you maybe feel really stressed. And so that's okay, we're gonna find our inner vacation right here and now. So make sure you're wearing something really cozy, we're gonna get on the yoga mat, and today we're gonna to start our practice lying down in Shavasana. So take a moment, Get yourself all situated. I got the palm tree yoga pants. My favorite name, dedicating this class to Tamara, my palm tree best friend. Let's roll down our spine. You're all my best friend, but she's my palm tree best friend. <laughs> so we're gonna roll down onto the mat and find your way into a really comfortable position. It might feel really odd to be here and that's all right. Just see how you're breathing right now. See if you've ever thought about the word aloha or even what the aloha spirit is about or any place that you've been that's tropical and amazing and if you haven't been, that's okay too. We're going to go there energetically. So let's just start by setting our intention. We're going to wiggle our fingers and toes and we're going to smile. We're going to go right into our heart. We're going to go right into our body and we're going to feel like a really good connection with our beautiful spirit. Next thing you're going to do is lift your knees into the chest, give yourself a little hug, Padlan Muktasana, one leg wind release. We're going to take the right leg down to the floor, leave your left knee in and up. Roll your head, neck, and shoulders up and just give yourself a little hug. <sighs> Big breath, then switch the legs. Bring your right knee in and up. Give yourself a little hug, just pause for a moment. Good, and then we're going to release everything back down. Take a moment now, take both legs and bring them up, come into waterfall pose. This is super good for the kidneys. You're gonna just relieve the energy of the kidneys which are at the base of the spine, base of the ribs, I should say. And just get a moment where you feel your core, your powerhouse activate and just drain all this energy into your shoulders, into your hips. Point through the fingers and toes and then release them down, the legs into the hip sockets, arms into the shoulders. One more breath, maybe you're starting to feel that warmth and that vibration in the middle body. Good, and then we're gonna gently release the feet down, bring the arms down, and we're gonna do a little spinal wave, a little beautiful bridge pose for another dear amazing friend dedicating this class to my bridge. Let's bring up the hips, that's Bridget, and we're gonna gently just let the energy fall into our neck and into our throat. Just pause for a moment here. You can also take your hands underneath your hips and really even guide your shoulders and elbows together. And where is your inner smile? Soften your face, see how you're feeling. Let's do one more breath here in our bridge. Step to asana, and then we're gonna gently release our arms. Float your spine down on your next exhale breath, and on your inhale, we're gonna roll back up. Don't stay this time. Just pause for a moment, inhale, exhale your way down. Last one. Inhale up, exhale, roll down, excellent. And then we're gonna do a nice little release for our right hip socket. So draw your right knee in and up, lift your toes on the right, good. And then hands behind the thigh. <laughs> we're gonna just come into a nice one leg circle here, pause, bring your chin to your chest, drop your legs down, your arms down, and then circling around that right leg. See how that feels. Wake up that right hip socket. Keep your spine glued to the floor. Good. Let's do three more circles in this direction. And then we go the other way. And then another thing you can do is release your left leg long down to the floor. Make sure your whole body is glued to the mat. Last three circles in the other direction. Good. Find that core resilience. 
and then we're gently going to come back to center. Pause for a moment, tip your chin down to your chest, release your right leg, and then just feel your body. Release your arms, notice how it feels on that right hip socket. Let's do the other side. Left knee in and up. Let's gently lift the toes, take your hands behind the thigh or wherever is comfortable. Point through your toes, tip your chin down. Good, and then we're gonna release our arms by our side. So circle the leg around, you're opening up your yin side now, the feminine. The right side is your sun, the left is the moon. Good, and you're just gonna take, take that leg around, nothing else moves, just your leg at the hip socket. Last three, two, and then we're gonna come back to center, pause for a moment, and then go the other way. So you're just getting this big awakening in the hips, helping to relieve any hip and shoulder tension. The hips are the referral areas for the shoulder. Last two, good. And then come back to center, pause for a moment, and then gently lower that left leg down. See how you're feeling. Just notice that rebound effect of hopefully your legs feeling a little bit heavy, but maybe vibrating a bit more. And we're gonna flip over. Before we do, just bring your knees up, bring your hands up. We're gonna shake like a bug on its back. Keep your breath going, smile, soften your face. <sighs> Puka Dog is telling you that there's a hurricane outside here. It's a tropical one, one more breath. Bug on its back, just shake all the chi around, your prana, your life force. Good, and then gently on the next breath, exhale, lower down all the limbs. Pause here for a moment, see how you feel. Good. And then we're gently gonna do a few sit-ups. I said we're gonna flip over, but eventually we'll get there. So straighten your legs out long, bring your arms up over your head, tighten through your core, visualize your sit-up, big inhale breath, reaching, and then exhale, coming forwards, tall spine on inhale, exhale with your core engaged, roll yourself down mindfully. Let's do two more. Inhale, come up, exhale to lean forwards, <clears throat> Hold that imaginary tree on your way back down. Last one. Inhale, come up. Tall spine. Exhale, release your arms. You can shake out your legs. Good. And then we're going to come over onto our hands and our knees. So bring your legs underneath you. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Knees under the hips. And then lengthen your spine. Just send the ground away. Push with your finger pads. Lengthen your whole head, your spine away from your tail. One more breath here, holding in this nice position. Good. And then we're going to walk our right foot forwards. Step, walk, jump. Place your right foot forwards and see how this feels. This gives you a really nice stretch in the back of the hamstring. We're going to continue our breath and we're going to see if it's available to come up into this nice warrior lunge. Good, and then we're gonna take our arms, float them up overhead. So we're in this nice position, our shoulders are not reaching up. You can take temple mudra, your last three fingers interlace. Find your core strength, and something I really like to do here is do a lateral bend. So pause, and then we're gonna to tip to the right. Good, see how that feels. This should feel really nice, opening up that side left body, the stomach, relieving, you know, stress, worry, tension, and we're going to come back to center, and then we're going to tip to the left. Good. So bring yourself over. Try to maintain that nice balance. Good. And now we're squeezing into the stomach side and opening up the liver side, so releasing anger and releasing any frustration. Good. Come back to center. Pause for a moment and bring your arms down. Release your hands back to the floor. We're going to step our right foot back and let's do the left side. So you're looking up between your hands, you take a big breath and you walk, step, jump, place your left foot up and then just pause here for a moment. Good. So then let's find our nice core, engage from the middle, bring yourself up, come into a nice balanced position. If you're really feeling it today, you can always charge off of that back leg and come right into a full runner's lunge. Otherwise, just keep it down, and then we think about raising up the arms. Palms can be together, 
Temple Mudra, last three fingers interlace, thumb and index pointing up. Let's go to the right. Inhale, lateral bend. Squeeze into the liver, releasing vitality and feel good energy. Come back to center. Good. And then we're going to go to the left. Big inhale breath. Exhale, tip over to the left. Excellent. Come back to center. Pause for a moment and then gently release your arms down. Good. Take your hands back to the floor. Quietly bring your left foot behind you, your knee. And then we're going to lower the whole body down onto the mat. So I did say we'd flip over. We got there eventually. So here you are, you're in your nice sphinx pose. So we're gonna take a moment. You can lower back down, bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Good, and then we're just gonna do a couple of cobra lifts, and then we're gonna do something super fun in sphinx. So inhale and lift up through the head, neck, and shoulders, not very high, and then you exhale and lower down. If you're a gentleman, make adjustments for this pose. This is your little cobra lift, and here on the next one, see if it's available to lift your hands with you. Inhaling up, exhale, lower down. You're gonna feel your core, your powerhouse, right when you're about halfway going up. You're gonna notice that you've got this beautiful, strong resilience in your body on both sides, the front and the back and the sides as well. Last two, good. Last one, excellent. And then release down. That's so good. We're going to try Sphinx now. So lift your body up, bring your elbows under your shoulders. Come up so that you're comfortable. And if this is too much, you can always just release your arms a little bit out in front of you. We're going to do a really cool thing called Tipsy Sphinx. So we're going to bring our left knee up and to the side. So draw your left leg up as comfortably as you can to a place that feels good. And then just pause here, noticing how you're getting that extra compression on your right side and opening up the left low back area. Visualize your left kidney. Imagine it relaxing. The kidneys store fear and anxiety. And in the positive, they store vitality and charisma and really your essence of life. One more breath. See how this feels on the low back. Good. And then we're gently going to release that left leg down. Pause for a moment. Just get a little bit of a feeling of how it is. One side being different than the other. And then let's lift the right side. So take a moment. I know you don't necessarily go on vacation to do yoga, but maybe you do yoga to go on vacation. So take a moment, wherever you are, you bring your right knee up and you just pause here. You get kind of settled in. See if you need to send the elbows forwards. See if you can stay up. And again, just visualizing now your right kidney. And we want to release any tension that's stored there. So just ask your kidneys to relax. And when we think about the inherent intelligence in all of our organs in the body, and we ask for our vitality, our self-esteem, our inner sunshine, our beautiful third chakra, golden sun coming from the middle of our body, relieving any tension and stress in our right kidney now. One more breath here. Try not to collapse through the chest and the chin. Good. And you really get a nice back bend partway through. And then gently, gently float down a little bit in the upper body. Quietly, slowly bring your right leg back in. Good. And then we're going to release just the chest and the chin down. We can cross our hands in front. One more thing that we're going to do here that's super amazing and helps relieve our text neck and any tension in the head, neck, and shoulders. We're going to do something called tie the bow. So we're going to lift up just a little bit. We're going to take our right arm and thread it underneath our left armpit. And then we're going to take our left arm, what is that? Our left arm and bring it in front of our right shoulder. So see how this feels here. All of a sudden, there's a lot happening. We get this really big energy in the neck and the shoulders. And it's also available to just drop your chin down. Make sure your head and neck are comfortable. You can leave them up as well. And we're going to hang out here for one more breath. 
This is putting a lot of compression on the heart and the lung meridian, so it's helping us to access our joy through the heart and through the lungs we release any grief and sadness. And again, we replace with a feeling of well-being, like we have a little vacation from our own worries every single day. Good. Gently start to lift back up. Take your left arm and bring it back. Bring your right arm back and then just pause, lower down again. Alligator pose, you can cross your hands, open your feet a little bit wider. One more breath here. <sighs> Good, and then let's try the other side. So lift up a little bit through the chest, a little mini sphinx. Take your left arm and thread it underneath your right shoulder and armpit. And then take your right arm and wiggle it over to the left. And again, this might be very uncomfortable at the beginning, and this will help to relieve some of that tension in the neck and shoulders that we take on through our day-to-day -day life. And then also relieving some of the grief, some of the sadness, some of the just collective um, difficulty that we've all been going through. So take one more breath here, find a comfortable position for your head and neck. The first time I tried this, it was so uncomfortable. But now it's become something that I really look forward to doing. Tying the bow. Good. Tying the knot. All right. Let's gently, gently come out of it now. So whichever arm is in front, your right arm, you're gently going to bring that back slowly. Take your left arm out and over. And then just pause by bringing your head and chest down to the floor. We're going to curl the toes. We're going to push the ground away. Bend the knees. Good, and then walk yourself into a hero's pose, Vajrasana. So I always like to remind myself you can pretend that you've got a little seat by drawing up the back side of your yoga mat and sitting on it. All of a sudden, just a couple of inches gives you this nice lift, and we're not just slouching here. Good, let's take one more breath. Find your inner hero. Find your inner light warrior, somebody who always does good, like a superhero, your Superman, your Wonder Woman, whatever that looks like for you. Maybe it's your inner Smurf, your little Menehune. All right, let's gently release the mat wherever we are. Take your hands out in front, curl your toes. We're gonna bring the back side of the body up. We're gonna walk our hands a little closer to our feet. Walk your feet a little closer to your hands and hang out in forward fold. Really bend your knees. Let your head hang below your heart. Take your right hand and bring it in front of your chest. Open up to the side now. A nice little twist. Left arm reaches up and over. Let your head be hanging. Last breath. And then we're going to release on the full breath next round. Inhale down. Exhale to release. And then bring your right arm up. Big inhale. Exhale. Come into your twist. Maybe straighten a little bit through that right leg. Wiggle your fingers. Good. And then release down through that right arm. Let your head hang below your heart. Excellent. Let's gently come up to standing. Push the ground away. Float up onto your feet. And then we're going to find Tadasana Mountain Pose. Take your toes. Lift them up. Lower them down from the outside in. Release your arms by your sides. Let's take goal post arms and elbows bent. Bring your arms out at your sides and open up your chest. Open up your courage. Notice your core. Try not to dump out in the middle. Zip up from the middle. Line and really feel yourself opening up, releasing that text neck phenomena of just looking down all the time at our phones or computers or devices or whatever. One more breath. This should feel really nice. Good, and then we're gonna release down. Four ha breaths. This is the one that we do with the arms. Inhale up, exhale down. Let's do three more. Aloha means many, many things. Kindness, patience, perseverance, honesty, humility. Good, one extra one. The ha breath is the breath of life as well. Excellent. We're going to finish off doing a nice tree pose. So keep your right foot grounded and then take your left toes at the side. 
Hands up the heart. You can, of course, lift your left foot if you want to come up to the calf. Avoid the knee. You can go up to the thigh, but make sure you press that right thigh into your left foot. And then once you arrive, see if we can try Humble Tree, where we close our eyes even just for just a second. See if we can hold it. If not, that's okay. I have a bit more success with my foot a little bit lower. Good. And then we're going to try climbing the tree. So release uh, or open your eyes. Release your arms, bring them up, and then see if it's available to climb the tree. Okay, reaching up for those branches. Excellent, and then we're gonna lower down. Release that left foot, hands come down. Right foot now is the standing foot. So take a moment, foot at your side, foot at the calf, avoid the knee, and if you come all the way up, push that thigh with resilience into your foot. So hands at the heart. If it's available, arms up overhead. And now we try humble tree, just for one breath. Close your eyes and see if you can hold. Find that balance, that concentration, that focus. Good, even if you just hold for a second, that's amazing. Then release your hands, open your eyes, and climb the tree. Smile, soften your face, see if you've been a kid today. See if you found a few deep breaths, if you found your inner vacation today. Good, and then we're going to gently, whoo, with control and grace, bring our hands back down, release that right foot. Let's just stand with our feet a little bit further apart. Let's be seaweed spine. So just send your spine from side to side. Picture your favorite place where you've ever seen the ocean and maybe you've seen seaweed or you've seen some really beautiful algae or whatever, something really gorgeous in the water. Last two breaths. And then we float to the floor. Good. So take a moment, try to go down without using your hands. You can arrive on your seat. It would be so good if we could do one more core exercise. So let's do our boat pose, our Navasana. So bring your legs up. If you need to, you just bring your hands behind your thighs and just give yourself a little hug for a moment. And then release and let go and let your hands be beside your calves. Let your spine and your thighs be on this nice V-shaped angle from each other. One more breath where you feel that vibrancy of your core, your 78,000 nerves just dancing around inside of you. Good. And then we're going to release the feet down. Let's come down in two breaths. Inhale, lengthen spine. Exhale to release. Inhale, part way, lengthen a bit more. Exhale, lower yourself down all the way to the ground. And let's come into our final meditation relaxation. Take a couple breaths, really nice big deep breaths. Remember a long smooth breath is a long smooth life. If you want to put a blanket on, if you want to cover your eyes, if you want to just take a couple of minutes, maybe after this class you're going to have a nap, Maybe you get to just chill out for a little bit. For right now, we're just going to bring ourselves into our heart center. Float your imagination down to your heart. And imagine that there's the most beautiful sunset in your heart at the most beautiful location in the world. And this is your paradise. This is your heaven, your happy place. And it doesn't have to be tropical, but make it a vacation. Make it something that, you know, you maybe don't get to go to every day or you've only been once in your life, but you go there with your intention in your heart. Sense and feel the most beautiful sunrise or sunset. Be in the most beautiful location. Notice the trees, if there's palm trees. Notice how warm the air is. And use your imagination to just be in that space for the next few minutes. Nowhere to go, nothing to do. Maybe you hear the sound of waves. Maybe you're just gently listening to your own breath that becomes like a wave. And we ask for now the intention of loving kindness to wash over us. Whatever we do, wherever we go, and we remember every day to take a mental break, maybe even a physical break from what we're doing. 
We can lie down on the ground. We can do some yoga, some qigong, some meditation. And right now, just use that visualization to be in your heart as best you can. Maybe there's friends and family there that you love and you'd like to be with you. Maybe your animal friends are there. You notice the birds in the sky. Notice what body of water is in front of you. They say that your water element is as vast as your imagination for your water, um, for your abundance, for your sense of feeling in the flow. So see if you can imagine that you're holding a little spoon or a little bowl or even a big bowl at your belly and you're looking out at this body of water knowing that your bowl will always be full of this rainbow light water. It will be filled with the elixir of life and your limitation is just that you made your bowl too small. So use your whole sense of seeing, believing, wishing, feeling like it already was, that you're holding the most beautiful bowl. It could be made out of the most beautiful crystal or material that is just so ephemeral. And it's filled with rainbow light. It's said that as we're born, all children are born with a giant rainbow bowl of light in their lower belly area. So fill this area with your mana, with your prana with your life force, your chi, your ki, and sense and feel your rainbow bowl of light filling now. Dumping out any rocks, any debris, any hardness, any resentments, any anger. And as you gaze out at this beautiful vast body of water in front of you with this most beautiful sunset, you fill your bowl you see and sense a beautiful feeling of renewal within your physical and your mental and your emotional body, within your spiritual body, and most importantly, your water. You go with the flow. Water flows and adapts itself without losing its nature. So be like the water. You are mostly made of water, of your five elements, Earth, air, fire, spirit, air, water. <laughs> Be water, go with the flow. Don't struggle against the river of your energy of life. Go with your beautiful flow. And the easiest way to find it is your big, beautiful breath. Let's take two more breaths, smiling into our heart relaxing all of our organs, imagining our whole body being rejuvenated now, maybe even up to 12 years younger, just by sitting at this beautiful place, looking at the water and filling our bowl of light, finding a little moment for an inner vacation every single day. Good, and wherever you are, whatever you're doing now, let's gently float back into our body, We'll have the intention of three wishes. One wish for ourselves, one wish that benefits somebody else, and then one wish of maybe perhaps seeing or being at this most beautiful vacation spot in your mind's eye, in your heart space every single day. So send love and healing to the earth. Thank the earth for inviting you here. Thank the sun for shining on you wherever you are. And let's gently float back into our day. So smile if you're not already. Let's bend the knees. And we know that we're going to have an amazing day. Let's gently float onto our side. Use our strong arms and push the ground away. Mm. So arrive in a seated position. Come back to your most comfortable, easy pose, Sukhasana. Take your shoulders up, down, and around. Bring your hands to your heart, and we'll gently finish off our practice. We dedicate our practice to all sentient beings. May all beings be relieved of their suffering, and may we dwell together with great fruitfulness and harmony. The light in me greatly honors and sees the divine light in you. Namaste.
Thanks everyone. I really appreciate your time and energy. Have the best day ever.